Isabella. And my name is Ethan. You are from Bipol Walter Campus. Welcome to Royal Kids YouTube Channel. We are going to have so much fun learning with you guys. Let's get ready to worship. It. What's up, Royal Kids? Let's get ready to worship together.
together. Now get ready for the message and grab your Bibles. Hey, Royal Kids! How's it hanging? Aaron here, and in honor of our brand new series, Upside Down, I decided to hang, well, upside down. And let me tell you guys, I have loved being upside down ever since I was a little kid. I would hang upside down on the monkey bars, the jungle gym. I would even go to the edge of my bed and hang upside down. And I would do it on the couch too. I did it so often, my mom would warn me and she would say, Aaron, be careful. One day you're gonna slip and you're gonna bonk your head. And guess what, Royal Kids? It happened. One night when I was watching my favorite TV show, Phineas and Ferb, I was hanging upside down when I slipped off the couch and I hit my head. Woo! Let me tell you, it hurt so bad. Like, ouch, major ouch. But hey, that just goes to show that parents always know best. They know. Okay, you guys, I'm starting to get a little dizzy and woozy. I kind of can't see straight. So why don't we count down from three so I can flip right side up again? Okay, let's do it together. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh my goodness, Royal Kids. Oh, that is so much better. Oh, I can see clearer now. Oh my goodness. Hey, I really like your shirt over there. You look really, really nice. Okay, now that I'm on my feet, I want everyone to join me. Everyone stand to your feet. Stand up, stand up. All right, now I want you to jump. Go ahead and jump, 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 jump. Oh, awesome, but not quite what I was looking for, all right? I wanna see how high you can jump royal kids, all right? So on the count of three, I want you to show me your highest jump ever. Everyone get ready, go ahead, warm up your legs, warm up your legs if you have to, you know, do some little stretches, okay? Run in place, run in place. Okay, on the count of three, jump as high as you can. Ready, one, two, three. Whoa! I, that was so impressive. I have never seen anybody jump as high as that. Good job, you guys. Okay, so now that we're all warmed up, go ahead and sit down. Now we're gonna sit down and pull out your Bibles, okay? Grab your Bibles and we are going to turn to the book of Matthew chapter 23. Chapter 23, verses 11 through 12, okay? And it says, the greatest among you will be your servant. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humbled themselves will be exalted. Wait, that was kind of confusing. Let's read that one more time. The greatest among you will be a servant, for those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humbled themselves will be exalted. Huh, that seems kind of upside down, doesn't it? It's saying those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So the first will be last and the last will be first? Huh, that may seem a little bit confusing, Royal Kids, but let me go ahead and explain it to you this way, okay? So Jesus, Royal Kids, was the greatest servant. And the Bible tells us that Jesus was the King of Kings. That's right, you heard me correctly. The King of Kings, the Most High, was the greatest example of a servant. He humbled himself, which humble literally means putting others before yourself. He did that for everyone around him. He came to this world and he took all of our sin, he took our mess, he took our brokenness, and he died on the cross for us. Royal kids, Jesus put you and me first. And you guys, when we decide to give our trust to him, our hope and our faith, and we invite Jesus into our hearts and we decide to give our lives to him, we are ultimately making the decision to also be like him. Royal kids, we are called to be set apart and we are called to put others first. When we put others first, we are ultimately showing everybody what Jesus was like in his heart for others and how he loved everyone and loved each and every one of us. Royal kids, we put others first because Jesus put us first. Let's pray. 
Dear God, I thank you for every single one of these royal kids, and I thank you for their hearts. They have the greatest hearts out of anyone I know. I thank you that they're so loving and that they're so kind and that they already put others first. But Jesus, I pray that you remind us all to do that, to put others before ourselves. And we thank you for dying on the cross for us and that you put us first. Lord, I pray these kids have an amazing rest of the day, an amazing rest of the week. We thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. And everybody says, amen. All right, royal kids. Now I have a challenge for you. I want you to think of one person, okay? One person, it could be your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad. It could be your friend, or it could be anyone from school. And I want you to think of several different ways that you can put them first, all right? So go ahead. Think those ideas up, and I want you to go ahead and share them with your leaders. And I cannot wait to hear all the amazing ways that you come up with. Bye, you guys. Follow Vibe Worship Kids and stream it anytime from anywhere. Also available on iTunes and YouTube.